by the name of Travis Bloom attempted to enter the courtroom while the proceedings were occurring. He was stopped by security and told he could enter at breaks. Uh, at that point, he stayed outside the courtroom, but was heard outside the courtroom making very loud comments that was were heard by Sheriff's Deputy Sam Smith inside the courtroom. Um, or Sam was, I apologize, he was outside, but he heard making very loud comments. At that point, um, he was told that he needed to be quiet, couldn't interrupt the court proceedings. He was uh, asked to leave at that point. He began to respond with profanity and intense uh, behavior. At that point, Deputy Smith told him, based on his behavior, he was not going to be allowed to come back to the courtroom proceedings for fear that he would continue to disrupt the proceedings, as is the responsibility of the sheriff's office for the security of the courtrooms. He attempted to re-enter the courtroom today. He was told that he was not going to be allowed to enter the courtroom. And again, he responded with um, profanity and anger and was uh, escorted out of the courtroom outside of the courthouse by sheriff's deputies. I did want to make a record of that. It is an open proceeding. However, the open proceedings are limited to spectators who are able to control their behavior both inside and outside of the courtroom. At this point, Mr. Bloom has shown that he could not do that. So the sheriff's office, acting in their discretion and their authority for the security of the courthouse, have banned him from returning to the courtroom. I wanted to make a record of that so the court was aware and so the defense was aware. Thank Your you. Honor, I object to this. Your Honor, uh, throughout, the, throughout my time here, my family has been repetitively denied. I understand Travis Bloom is an idiot. I understand that, fully understand that. He holds a good heart. Um, they didn't arrest him yesterday. If he did all the things, they probably should have arrested him, right? I mean, these are very serious matters. Uh, to limit him from the courtroom simply because of this is, is, is ridiculous. If a, if a person does not know that they cannot come in during a time that is not a recess, then maybe they should be explained that, or maybe there should be notices posted on a wall somewhere. Um, Your Honor, uh, for them to give him one warning and tell him you cannot come back in the courtroom is wrong. I, I believe the man should have a chance. Uh, I understand where he's highly agitated. Um, I would be too, uh, considering what's going on with my family. Um, this is quite ridiculous. I believe he should be enabled as long as he can control himself. He was simply pushed out of the courtroom without giving notice. That deputy yesterday did not give him notice that, hey, you can't come in when it's not recess, sir. I said, you can't come in, and I heard it. I heard it with my own ears. It's wrong. I've been prejudicedly treated the whole time I've been here. Insanely and ridiculously treated. Now my family has to be treated over that. It's wrong. I have hopes and pray that the courts give him an opportunity to come in here as long as he can control his manners and sit quietly and not interrupt the courts. This has been an ongoing problem, Your Honor. I've addressed it many times due to the, or I've addressed the prejudice to me very many times. I've brought proof of it. I have a red thumb drive, a verbatim brand that has proof of prejudice done to me where I have been assaulted in this courthouse or in this jail and in this courthouse building. People have made note of it, not just outside of this courthouse Mr. today. Your Honor, if I could focus you back on Mr. Bloom. That's and, the issue before us today. Your Honor, and, and I apologize, but I am focused on that. The prejudice has been ongoing, and I believe it is even more prejudice that my one family member who is local is not permitted to sit in. He simply tried to come in, and as I said, he's an idiot. He doesn't know that. I wouldn't know that. A common person wouldn't know that you can't come in during a recess or during a time that's not a recess. Uh, I believe he should be given a chance, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Young, that's fine. I've heard your argument. The gentleman in the back courtroom by the door uh, with law enforcement, what's your name? Deputy Dolman. You step outside the door and see if there's anything posted about their entering the courtroom during a recess.
There is, Your Honor. And what does it say, sir? It says, you may only enter the courtroom at recess or breaks. And you were here yesterday, sir? I was. And was that sign posted on the door at all times? I believe so. Have a seat, Mr. Yon. Your motion or objection is overruled. You are, as you described, idiot relative Travis Bloom should have read the door sign before he tried to enter the courtroom, and so he was advised of the court rules. And as he has attempted to disrupt these proceedings yesterday as represented, he will be barred from attending further proceedings in this matter. Mr. Jones, is the state ready to proceed? We are, Your Honor. Mr. Yon, is the defense ready to proceed? I have no choice, Your Honor. All right. We'll have the bailiff bring the jury in. 